What's up guys? In today's Tech Tuesday, I'll be showing you how to install a head on a small block 302. Now, there's not a lot to it. If you don't know how to do it, you're about to learn right now. Like I said in the intro, we are putting heads on this 347 stroker. I said it was a 302 in the intro, but uh, it's the 302 block. So I installed one of the heads already and thought that, you know, why not show you guys how to do it in case there's some of you out there that were like me that weren't quite sure how to do this. So it's super simple. Uh, the steps are the same for both sides. So uh, as long as you follow all of the guidelines, you should have these heads on in uh, no more than 30 minutes. So uh, let's dive right in. Before we dive in, let's run over some of the tools you'll need. You'll need some fastener lubricant, a torque wrench with the appropriate socket for your bolt, and a hammer. It's always a good idea to have a hammer. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do when installing the heads is check to make sure that the dowel pins are installed. Those are super important in lining up the heads, so make sure you got those. If not, you're gonna wanna buy some. Smack them in with a hammer, nice and easy. Um, you know, take your time with it, make sure they're lined up and you will be good to go. So once you've checked that your dowel pins are on, it's time to throw on the gasket. Now a lot of the newer gaskets will have the orientation marked on uh, one of the sides, like this one will say front, so obviously that goes towards the front of the engine. Easy enough. Now, if your gasket isn't marked, then you want to look for the, the side without the holes. That side goes on the front, and that's just to block the water passage so that water is going to the back of the block. If you don't orientate this gasket right, uh, you're going to blow up your engine. So make sure you get the, uh, the holes on the front of the block blocked <laughs> with the gasket and leave the, the back water passages open, and you will be good to go. Again, mine was simple because it was marked nice and easy, so. All right, now once the gasket is on, you can go ahead and throw the head on. If you have your dowel pins on, this should be fairly simple. Okay, so in theory, that thing should stay there, but just for safety, I like to grab a couple of the bolts and just thread them in kind of hand tight, just so I'm not risking anything crazy happening, because that would suck really bad. As you can see, super loose. It's just to keep this thing, you know, from having any accidents. Next up, you want to make sure that your head bushings are in the head. This just helps keep the bolt where it's supposed to be. And once you've got those bushings in, it is time to throw your bolts and washers with the lubricant uh, into the head. So use a liberal amount of lubricant, just rub it in nice and easy with your fingers. And then also something to mention is the washer orientation. There's a little divot on this side and you want that divot to be going towards the top of the bolt. Once that's on, you could start threading that hand tight into the head. Do your other nine bolts and uh, we'll come back to torque those down. All right, so once your bolts are hand tight, you're gonna use the torque wrench and you're going to do a three-stage tightening procedure. And this must be followed to a T. You're going to start by tightening the top bolt to 30 foot pounds. Uh, next, you're gonna go to the bottom and same thing, 30 pounds. And you're gonna do that for all of these. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tightening pattern up there on the screen for you guys to follow. Uh, once you guys follow that, come back for the next torquing measurement. Okay, once you've got those tightened down to 30 foot pounds, you're gonna crank this thing up to 50 pounds and do the exact same pattern. And lastly, 70 foot pound torque for this puppy. And last thing you want to do is just go over all of these one more time, give it a final check. And once you do that, your head is officially installed. 
So there you have it folks, another super simple Tech Tuesday. Uh, but for those of you guys who are just getting into wrenching on engines, hopefully this helps. Uh, it was videos like this that helped me when I was trying to learn and that was just recently. This is actually the first engine that I've actually put heads on. So I'm right there learning with you guys, but I figured it was simple enough to explain. So I wanted to put my own little tutorial out there to hopefully show you guys what to do. So if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. Uh, don't be scared to tackle this thing. It is super simple, super easy. So anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to pick up your new Wild Horses merch. And uh, with all of that being said, we will see you guys out there on the trail. Peace.